हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 975 एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज द मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ स्पॉन्जी रबर इफ आई से स्पॉन्जी रबर मींस इट इज पफी एंड इट हैज सम एयर बैलून इन द सेल स्ट्रक्चर एंड हाउ टू Uh, make such type of puffy material of the rubber so first the soft rubber is taken and this soft rubber is made into very small pieces uh, and in fine uh, particle and then it is treated with uh, ammonium carbonate and with treatment with ammonium carbonate then it is mixed with uh, a uh, sodium carbonate to allow uh, the eliminate i mean the uh, pumping of carbon dioxide gas and ammonia gas and it will allow uh, before the vulcanization to make it puffy mass with the uh, cell structures that is open cell structures as well as closed cell structures and then the process of vulcanization will take place and in this way after the vulcanization then this uh, simple rubber or uh, we can say uh, the uh, natural or synthetic rubber uh, can be converted into spongy material and that is called spongy uh, rubber and this spongy rubber nowadays is having lot of demand to make the mattresses for bed chair cushion sofa carpet so lot of indoor uh, materials are uh, prepared obtained out of this rubber wear uh, the air gaseous form and that is produced in presence of uh, sodium carbonate and that is held up and that makes it puffy mass and it is called spongy uh, rubber actually in sponge rubber production or manufacture these two chemicals they play very important role the first group of chemicals which are producing carbon dioxide gas and they are uh, sodium carbonate ammonium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate and they are responsible of producing the open cell structure and in that rubber the second group they come from uh, that is your ammonia and it is nitrogen and that nitrogen will combine with benzene to give the benzene derivative and those benzene derivatives those uh, benzene diazo compounds uh, they will provide the close uh, cell structure so open cell structure and close cell structure will give the bridge of formation of puffy mass and that puffy mass is your uh, sponge uh, rubber or spongy uh, rubber so number 1 when a charge of soft rubber mixed with uh, ammonium carbonate or combination of steric acid steric acid is actually fatty acid uh, that is known as modifier it is responsible to modify the rubber Uh, and sodium carbonate uh, as blowing agent that is called blowing agent because it releases carbon dioxide gas to blow it is uh, subjected to vulcanization after this mixing then it is subjected to vulcanization uh, to manufacture the spun rubber number 2 the heat of vulcanization liberates carbon dioxide and ammonia uh, gases and highly puff up spongy mass and this production of carbon dioxide gas and ammonia gas they are highly uh, active to make rubber as a puffy mass it can make it puff up puffy means that is uh, bulging uh, ballooning we can say so in that case it will give uh, of the spongy mass and it is commonly known as sponge rubber the 
pore size of which is controlled by the volume of gases generated during uh, the process. Uh, sponge rubber is made by dry rubber compounding technique. Number three, solid soft rubber is broken down to a desired uh, degree by milling and then mixed with ingredients plus blowing agents and such as uh, sodium carbonate and their required modifiers such as fatty acid like steric acid. It is mixed. Well, first it is broken down into desired smallest particle and then these two ingredients are added. The one which is responsible of making it uh, puffy mass that is by producing carbon dioxide and ammonia gas and second modifier. Modifier is your steric acid which is commonly known as uh, fatty acid. In a uh, Banbury mixer, uh, the mixed uh, stock is molded and curved. During curing, uh, blowing agent and modifier produce gas under vulcanization and conditions uh, depending upon the process conditions uh, the sponge rubber produced. Number four, it may have an open uh, interconnected structure or closed cell structure. Carbon dioxide producing chemicals such as uh, sodium bicarbonate or sodium carbonate uh, and fatty acid yield open chain structure. So your uh, sodium carbonate and fatty acid they are responsible of opening that is called open cell structure of rubber and while nitrogen forming chemicals such as diazo, nitrobenzene and benzene, sulfonyl, uh, hydrazide yield closed cell structure. So number five, open cell structure is obtained by compounding process and then the co vulcanizing the product in such a manner that gas is produced before vulcanization. So here these gases, what it is produced out of nitrogen and out of uh, sodium carbonate that is carbon dioxide, ammonia gases before vulcanization it should be produced. Uh, as the mass expands before vulcanization, so that before vulcanization, the mass expansion will take place, puffing will take place only after that you can do the vulcanization. Uh, and cell walls are required because of the plasticity of the vulcanized material. Hence, interconnecting structure is produced in the vulcanized product. So, once it happens like that, then interconnecting. Uh, vulcanized product is produced and that will be in the form of sponge uh, rubber uh, and closed cell sponge is produced by adding nitrogen producing chemicals that I have already uh, discussed, discussed uh, in place of carbon dioxide uh, producing chemicals as a result some gas is dissolved in the compound which is finally mold to take its final shape as a sponge rubber. So those gases which are produced finally in place of carbon dioxide gas uh, that is nitrogen gases they will be dissolved in that um, mass and it will make a spongy and that is called sponge rubber. Uh, it is used in the making indoor articles like uh, mattresses, uh, furniture cushions, pads and bed uh, pillows. Number six, some important general uh, purpose rubber. I have given some monomers which are very common and very important for students. Those who are uh, studying uh, the rubber chemistry 
or the manufacturer of rubber, they should understand these monomers. So there are two type of monomers. One is for general rubber, and other one is for special type of rubbers. When we are talking of rubber industry, it has gone long way. It is not only the extraction of uh, latex, natural rubber from plant sources. After getting the natural rubber from plant sources in 21st century, we have different type of new derivatives like silicon rubber, like buna rubber, like sponge rubber, like foam rubber. So all these they have monomers. So I have given some of the monomers of general rubber and some monomers of special rubber. So the general rubber monomer is first is that is called sodium butadiene. So this is your sodium butadiene and this is your CH2, CH, CH, CH2 that is butadiene is the monomer. So in that rubber, this is your rubber, this rubber is called sodium butadiene rubber. So in the case of sodium butadiene rubber, the monomer is the formula is given here and this is the monomer. The second is called general rubber, divinyl styrene rubber. So in the case of divinyl styrene rubber, the monomer is CS2, CS uh, double bond and C6H5, one benzene ring is there and this is the monomer which is called butadiene and styrene monomer. Uh, the third one is divinyl methyl styrene rubber. So in this general rubber, divinyl methyl styrene, the monomer will be CS2 double bond, C, CS3, C6S5. One methyl group is there and one uh, phenyl group is there, that is C6S5 monomer. And it is called butadiene and methyl styrene monomer. Then next one is isoprene rubber. In the case of isoprene rubber, all the monomers are uh, C5H8 isoprene. This is your C5H8, that is CS2 double bond, C, CS3 and CH double bond CS2 and that is called isoprene unit. So those of us uh, which are made up of only isoprene unit, they are known as isoprene uh, rubbers where the monomer is only isoprene. Now when we are going for a special type of rubbers, so that special type of rubbers they are having the monomers. The first uh, rubber is that is called Butadiene nitrile rubber. So butadiene nitrile rubber is having uh, the monomer is CS2 double bond CS and CL. The second one is neoprene rubber. In the case of special neoprene rubber, we have the monomer uh, CS2 double bond C, CL, CH and double bond CS2. Then the third one is known as uh, polyisobutylene special rubber. In the case of polyisobutylene special rubber, we have CS2C uh, double bond C and then two methyl group is attached CS3, CS3. That is called in polyiso in the form of iso, that's why it is called isobutyl rubber. Then fifth one is uh, that is thiocol. Thiocol is a special type of rubber and in this case the monomer is CN, CS2, C, CS2, CL. Then urethane, polyester. Uh, special type of rubber. In the case of urethane, polyester special rubber, O double bond C N C within bracket C S2 outside bracket N any number, then N double bond C double bond O. So these are uh, the monomers which are used for uh, general rubber and for special uh, rubber. So once we are talking of industrial chemistry, the rubber industry is very important because nowadays with natural rubber, uh, latex, we have lot of very very fine derivatives and for multi purpose we are using rubber in paint industry, in adhesive industry uh, like gum and like plastic 
I like very strong material packaging. I mean, it has multi-purpose. It has expanded exponentially. The very fast growth of rubber industry is there nowadays in the world uh, because of the uh, growth in the rubber industry due to the formation of new new uh, monomers. And these monomers are uh, produced out of combination of different elements with uh, synthetic ones as well as with uh, natural extracted rubber latex. With this, I will stop. Thank you very much for watching the lecture.